There seems to be an abundance almost of protest and resistance around the globe. Why is it happening? And why is it getting, of course, so little attention? Because most people don't cover the news, uh, at least not international news. Here, let, let, let me take you through some of these. Kazakhstan. A new president was recently elected, and this is how the people there reacted. Watch. <laughs> Mr. Tokayev won the election with 71% of the vote. Look at what happened on the streets. People seem to think he's too closely aligned to the ex-president, Nazarbayev. He was there for some 30 years, by the way. 500 protesters were arrested. All right, next, let, let's go to Hong Kong. Put it up. <laughs> This one was really nuts. I mean, look at this. More than a million people take to the streets uh, to protest an extradition law that allows China now to take Hong Kong citizens to face trial in the mainland. Not fair, say the people of Hong Kong, who feel like the days of China ruling over Hong Kong have long passed. And now let's do this. Let's go over to Albania. <laughs> Can you believe this? I mean, all of this going on since Friday. These protests are because their elections were canceled. The, pro the, the president of the country recently stopped the election. That hardly ever is going to go over well. Uh, he said he had to do it to ease the political tensions. Thousands of Albanians took to the streets, some tossing Molotov cocktails at the police. And now from Albania to Moldova. Protest here seems, you know, uh, milder, maybe more peaceful nonetheless. Uh, look at the number of people that take to the streets here. They were called after the pro Russian president was stripped of his duties. Protesters have taken to the streets, but officially they say it could have been much worse. Still, authorities fear that violence could get worse and uh, in what is one of Europe's poorest countries. Now, finally, Let's take you staying in this hemisphere to uh, Venezuela. President Maduro has uh, reopened the border to Colombia. Thousands of people immediately, it's like they knew it was kind of come or something. They you know, Suddenly thousands of people started crossing the bridge. They're going over there uh, to buy food, medicine, and other household items. Police tried to organize it as best they could so they can get through. Violence has not occurred. But the situation obviously remains tense as U.S.-backed uh, uh, President Juan Guaido continues his press, uh, his uh, claim, I should say, as the president of Venezuela. I know, it's confusing. Sounds like a, a perfect segment, doesn't it? All this going on in the world for John Jordan, who is, among many other things, as you know, a member of the Hoover Institution. All right. So, uh, John... Why don't we do this? Uh, let's start with Kazakhstan, because I think m a lot of people don't realize the, uh, the size and the import of that particular country, both dimensionally and in terms of uh, some very important geopolitics. Take it away. Well, first of all, uh, Kazakhstan is the world's largest landlocked country. It's the ninth largest in area in the world and has the largest border with Russia. It also has staggering amounts of natural resources, oil, gas, and a wide variety of metal. Shalom. Call hello, light, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God, Bahashim, in the name of of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I want to give a shout out to the Alchemist that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and to the confusion of face, Akyum and Akwaf, you brothers and sisters whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. Though you may look like one of the heathen nations, you, you are scattered amongst. Same. To if the sea line traces back to one of these tribes through the man, and if your spirit bear witness with this word, this truth, and you can receive it to the confusion of face, brothers and sisters, if these do apply, you are Israelites, though you do look different, okay? To the confusion of faces out there, to the few aquaf once again, you sisters that do listen and learn, shalom, to the elect of the nation of Israel, whether it may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who this word is going out to. Shalom to you as well. 
to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine and consist and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites. That is truly who you are from your particular tribe, man. You're not black. You're not Latino. You're not Native American. Okay? Those are all bywords that our people have been brainwashed, okay? And according to the curses, have been walking around uh, uh, believing that they are. They're, they're not, okay? They're the chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh. Once again, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, his son, Yahweh Shah, okay? And um, you seen the uh, this video I just played on RT America, protests erupting worldwide. What is what? What's it mean? Well, let's see what the scriptures tell you what it means. Okay. This is uh actually KJV. This is what it means, okay? This is second Esdras. This ain't gonna be too long of a video. It's second Esdras nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, just like the video just showed you, what? Okay? You're seeing earthquakes everywhere. Okay? You can just look it up and I'll bet you sh you'll see a whole list of earthquakes that's happening around the country or around the world. Okay? And ones that's happening at this very moment as I speak. Okay? Then shall I well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So these are what the Most High spake of, man. Okay? His name is Yahweh, by the way. If you see the Lord in caps, his name, that's that's Yahweh. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, the end is manifest, right? Even so the times also, and, and, and what is it, right? And the world is not going to end. It's just an empire, okay, a, a structure that's going to end, okay? For Esau is the end of the world. Esau, Eden, is a so-called white race, and Jacob... That's you, you tribes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites, is the beginning of it that followeth. Because it says the earth abideth forever. Okay? It's just a, a certain rulership or certain people that's in rulership. Okay? that's It's their world that's going to end. Right? Even so, also the times, also the times, also of the highest, had plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works, endings and effects and signs. Okay? So that's enough, man. Okay? So that's what it is, man. We're at the end of a rulership. We're at the end of this world, man. The world of Esau. Okay, the Edomites. Okay. This is, uh... I start uh the 36th verse. Behold, the word of the Lord receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. So that's what's happening. Okay? The plagues is, is the, the the uh uh all the uh diseases, the measles, the uh bubonic plague, the black death, all that's back, right? The uproars of the people, okay, the um the famines. Okay, the wars and the wars and rumors of wars. Okay, all that's uh, 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 is here. It's not slack now. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth a son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains could pass her womb. With which pains, when a child coming forth, they slack not a moment. Right, and that's the destruction. Right, America's about to be destroyed, and the pains that's leading up to it is is, is coming, just like a baby. Even so, shall not the plagues be be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side, and that's what's happening. Sorrows is starting to come upon this entire planet, as you know it, from all sides, man. Okay, because we're at the end. Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle, and those evil evils be as pilgrims upon the earth, man. 
Okay, we the Lord said in this, uh, the book of Romans and plenty of other times, be not conformed to this world. Okay, so that's what's going into because the Lord's about to okay open up. You know, that applies to me as well. The Lord's about to open up. Okay, on um this 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 planet, man, on this this earth, man. Okay, as he's doing now. Okay, he's about to take Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, these other heathen nations out of their, their power, man. Okay? And it's going to be through bloodshed and... Oh, excuse me, Salaki for that. I apologize for that. It's going to be through uh, mass death and destruction. Okay? Let me see if I want to continue on. Okay, I could continue on. This is actually a pretty good chapter. Okay, I I continue on the forty uh one verse. He that selleth, let him that be as, let him be as he that fleeth away. And he that buyeth as one that will lose. He that occupieth merchandise as he that have no profit by it. He that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. He that soweth as if he should not reap. So also he that planteth the vineyard also. As he, I mean, as he that shall not gather the grapes, they that marry, as they that shall not get no, they that shall get no children, and they that marry not as the widowers, and therefore they let labor, labor in vain. All these people out here, they, you know, think they want to uh, uh, reach or achieve something. You're laboring in vain, really, because this place is going to be destroyed. All that's not going to mean anything anymore at the end of the day. For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses, and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they, shall they get children. And they that occupy the merchandise will rob it. The more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sins, said the Lord. Okay? Like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and virtuous woman, so shall righteousness hate iniquity when she deck herself and shall accuse her. Let me see. Yeah, I'll just continue. Accuse her to her face when he cometh that shall defend him that diligently search out every sin upon earth. And therefore be ye not like on thereunto, nor to the works thereof. Okay? For yet a little and iniquity shall be taken out of the earth, and righteousness shall ring among you. How is iniquity going to be taken out of the earth? When the Lord brings, okay, Jacob's trouble, okay, according to Jeremiah 30 and 7, okay? When he brings man's death and destruction, because that's what it's got to be, okay? The majority, this this planet, the earth is given, Job 9, 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, okay? So, it's a rock, the 10th chapter tells, uh, as his officers, uh, 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 so are the people, you know? Quickly paraphrasing it, you know, I just butchered it, but I'm paraphrasing it, okay? A majority of people are wicked, two-thirds of our own people, so the Lord's going to bring destruction, okay, to this empire, this wicked kingdom, okay, and he's going to what, uplift uh, Jacob, starting with the elect, okay, for e once again, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it, that followeth, okay, so that's how righteousness shall reign among you, okay, so, that is my lesson, I could see if I uh, want to continue. If not, you know, I'll just close it out. I could should have got this chapter, but that's that's it. Okay. So, call her Lord Lai Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. I don't want right to Zah. Lord willing means Lord willing. This was edifying. Shalom to the elect.